I'll show you how to make this QR code and when someone scans it, they'll automatically give you a Google review. This means you can collect reviews with a simple two-step process, scan and click. Plus there's a bunch of free templates. It uses a completely free tool and I'll show you just how easy it can be. Go ahead and click the first link in the description. This is gonna pull up canva.com. Now the good thing about Canva is there's a paid version and a free version. The free version has everything we need to create this QR code today. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click start design and then sign up with one of these different options here. Awesome, so now we have a blank template. So what we wanna do is actually go grab that Google review logo that I showed you earlier. In order to do that, just go to uploads, click upload files, and I already have the logo saved on my computer, but I also linked that in the description for you to download yourself. Once it's downloaded, you can click it and drag it onto the canvas. And then of course, we'll just go ahead and make it the size and center it that we like. Now, awesome. So now we're used to underneath the Google photo, always having the five review stars. So the cool thing about Canva is it has built in elements. So you can go ahead and just go over to elements here, search for five stars. And then important thing to notice, all these ones that have a crown are a paid feature. So go ahead and click one that doesn't have a crown. That means it's a free feature. So let's go ahead and grab that. We'll drag it onto the screen and then we'll just go ahead and make it the same size as the circle above and go ahead and bring it up a little bit. Fantastic. So now at the bottom, we have the place where we can put our QR code. Now it's really common to frame out your QR code with a nice square. So what we're going to do is go over to elements. And let's just search for a QR code square, press search. And now we have a bunch of different options here. Now the color really doesn't matter. So I'm going to grab this green one. And once you have it on screen, you can change the color to look more professional by clicking the green button up top. And let's go ahead and make it black and then make it nice and large so someone can see and scan our QR code. Now we can go ahead and add our QR code to this, but it kind of looks really bland, right? There's not a lot going on on this bottom space. What I would recommend is putting your company logo there. It would look something like this. You can also put like a nice friendly statement. It would look like this. We're going to go ahead and design something that just captures the Google photos. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part here, but what I'm going to do is grab a triangle and go ahead and make it the Google red. And then I'm going to make one for each of the different colors in Google and add this nice little design at the bottom. And when I go through and do this, YouTube analytics actually shows that less than 1% of people who watch videos on the channel are actually subscribed. We release content every Monday on all things AI, business, and tech. So go ahead and consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And if you're liking the video so far, please give us a like. It really enables me to make more videos like this one in the future. Awesome. So now we have this nice looking card. Now we want to trigger someone to scan this with their phone. So what we're going to do is go to elements and let's just search for scan me and see what we can find. And here, here's a good one. There's a phone with uh, someone holding it. Let's go ahead and grab that and face it towards the QR code, right? So now this is looking really good. Now the most important part, right? We gotta generate this QR code. Now, Google actually just created a built-in QR code function for Google reviews. So I'm gonna show you how easy that can be. Go ahead and in Google, click your icon for business profile manager. Now here, you're gonna be able to see your business up top and you can click the read reviews button. And then once you're here, click the get more reviews button. Nice. So here is the QR code Google made just for your company. So you can go ahead and right click that, go ahead and select save. It's downloaded onto your computer. And then like before, we're going to go into uploads on Canva, upload files. Here's the image that we just downloaded. And let's go ahead and drag that and put it onto the screen. Now, of course, you wanna know how to share this, right? So there's a couple different options. One option is to print them. If you wanna print them, you go to print with Canva up top. Now this is a paid feature. Uh, they look something like this and you can print as many cards as you like essentially. What I like to do is use the free version, of course, right? So go ahead and select the share button and then you can go ahead and select download and then download the image. And now the image is saved on your computer for you to print out and use however you like. Now, the most important part is, does it actually work, right? So what we're gonna do is take our phone, 
we're going to go ahead and scan the QR code. And when it's scanned, you'll automatically be able to see that I was prompted to give a certain amount of stars for this review. Now, of course, this only helps you out if you want to drive people to your Google reviews. If you rather drive them to your Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, things like that, I'd watch this video where we do something very similar, but for all your social media links, it's a no brainer. It's one of our most popular videos on the channel. And if you found this video helpful, I need your help with three simple things. One, like this video if you enjoyed it. Two, consider subscribing to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. And number three, most importantly, go watch that video on how to grow your social media. It's a no brainer video and I know you'll find it valuable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.